What's up everyone, welcome to a new type of video um, than my regular playthroughs. Uh, today I will be actually showing you how to PK Hex on a Game Boy Advance, uh, the emulated Desmos, and then it's Kitra, as well as how to um, PK Hex on ROM Hacks. I know a lot of people in the community are still very unsure on how to do it, and I want to make it a very clear, easy video to show how to do an all three in one collective place. So with that, uh, time sets will be below or on the YouTube bar, so you can skip to the, uh, which one you need. But to start off with, very simply, you'll need to download uh, PK Hex. So I have it up here. So PK Hex 22.1, you just download that uh, file. Very easy, very simple. It's and it's probably the best way to do it. Um, once you have that downloaded, you can then very easily, and I will quickly bring it up to show. I'll drag this file over. So I have my own little emulator file that I like to that I like to use to keep everything all neat and tidy. Pretty much to open it, you go over to where you downloaded it. So I have it here, and then you simply open it up. So that's probably the uh, hardest thing uh, you got done. So congratulations if you got past that uh, first difficult part. So now I will move on to doing the MGBA. So, oh, sorry, GBA emulator. So for this, I'm actually using the MGBA because it works better for Lunar scripting, which is something completely different and you don't have to worry about it if you don't know what that is. But it's pretty simple. Um, I will note for when doing it with this emulator, you have to close down the emulator. You can't have it running at all or else it does not work. But pretty much you go to file, open, um, for me, I will, for example, if I want to play Pokemon Emerald, I will then go um, using the save file, I'll press Pokemon Emerald, and this should pop up. So from here, you can very simply make Pokemon Shiny, change their EVs, um, IVs, all that. Uh, this is for my Mudkip only run, so for this, I'll change this to being a Shiny, and then all you gotta do is press Set to make sure it's actually placed. Um, other things you can do is rare candies, you can put those in, and then just save that. So once you do all of that, pretty much is you export it and then save it over the save you are opened up with. So once that's done, you can pretty much open up your emulator like so. We'll load the ROM. So for this would be this. Get through all that. And then from here, so that is my normal mud kit, but this is the shiny one. As you can see, very simple, very easy way to do it. Um, that's probably one of the easier ones uh, to do. So now we will move on to uh, Desmos. So for this, you can actually have the emulator open the entire time. Um, so pretty much, I will now do it with my Pokemon Black version. So I'll open it up. As you can see, everything works fine. So what you need to do is for this, is first export it onto the save file. So for me, uh, I was doing a hate lock before, so I will export, you know, I'll export onto the hate lock. Then you go back over here, open it up, um, find where you save it. So for me, I like to keep everything on files. Then I open it. There you go. And same thing as before, uh, you can change EVs, make shiny uh, items, same thing. But this time you gotta put red candies in the medicine pouch just because it works better and the game prefers it. But for this, I'll make this non-shiny. Oh, well, it doesn't let me actually make it non-shiny. You know, we'll, we'll change the Pokemon. We'll make it into a Kiram. So I'll split that over into a Kiram. Now I will export it back onto that save file. And now the important part. So to actually have it work, you actually have to import it back into it. So Fortune Mine likes to take me somewhere else. So I'll go back to where it is press OK and if everything worked out I now have a Kiram called Steve so once again very easy very simple to do if you need to pause the video please do um, but now we'll move on to um, the very difficult uh, 3DS games so for the longest time I actually did not know how to do this but it's actually very simple so locate which 3DS game you want to do um, for this I will actually do my Pokemon Y run you go open save data location and it'll take you into this little file here. Easiest way to do it is just drag the file onto PK hex and there you go. So from here very simply all you have to do is just 
drag Pokemon, do everything, set, save, then you'll export it back onto, the, so it should automatically go back onto that main file, you don't have to go try and find it, it can be very difficult, but it should just ex give you straight to the place, save it over that, then once you open it, everything should be okay. So that is probably the easiest way to do it, once again, you have your items, all that, all that fun. So now I will actually show you how to do it in terms of ROM hacks. So ROM hacks is a little bit different. I'll close that down and I'll, I'll, so what you need to do is you actually have to open up the, you have to open up the file again. So I will grab that now. There we go. Grab it up. So as you say, it's PK hex. To make it work for ROM hacks, you actually have to change the E to an A. So it's PK hacks now. So double clicking it. We'll actually bring up that little screen. That's okay. You press okay. And it loads up. So now it's PK hacks. So this will now work for pretty much all type of um, hacks. Your uh, Emerald Kaizos, anything like that. So for example, I actually have an Emerald Kaizo save. There we go. I will now make a shiny. Bam, bam, bam. Do the same thing we did before. Export it onto my Emerald Kaizo. And now I will bring back up the emulator and load it up. Load Emerald Kaizo. So, if everything worked out, it should be a sh yep, shiny spin rack. So, that's how you change it to work with ROM hacks. You have to make it an A, or else it will not work. And to finish off, to change, simply change it back to everything else, you just change the A to an E, like so, and that will work with regular games. Um, I hope this video was very helpful. I hope that it's a very clean, easy explanation how each one works. And if you have any other questions, I can make up a follow video or um, answer the comment down below on how everything works. But I hope everyone has a lovely day and all the best with the runs.